Now to another high profile murder trial that we're following this evening. The man accused of stabbing 11 year old Josue Flores while he was walking home from school returned to court for day two of his murder trial today. A key piece of evidence in the case was discussed and new witnesses took the stand. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota has the details now from the courthouse. Andy, walk us through what happened today. Lauren, just moments ago, the defense asking the judge to declare a mistrial in this case, claiming that they did not receive a key piece of evidence. The judge responded by saying that she wants everyone in their seats by 845 tomorrow morning so that they can hash this out. Meantime, never before seen footage from the day Josue Flores was killed was played for members of the jury and FBI video specialist and crime scene reconstruction construction expert called by the prosecution explained to the jury how the different pieces of footage which show the accused and Flores are all connected to each other. Andre Jackson is accused of killing 11 year old Josue Flores after stabbing him 20 times with a pocket knife while he was walking home from school almost six years ago. As prosecutors present their case against him, much of today's testimony centering on key evidence in the case, including new pieces of surveillance video played in court, which show the young boy at different times, from leaving Marshall Middle School to walking down the street with his backpack on. Several other videos played for the jurors show the accused, Andre Jackson, putting on his jacket and looking at his hands, walking past an elementary school and running down a street. The jacket Jackson had on, say prosecutors, is the same green jacket that they say belonged to Jackson the day the 11-year-old was killed and that it contained his DNA. This morning, Jackson sat with his defense team as the state called the first witness, the owner of a Chevron gas station. The business owner testified that he provided surveillance video to police in 2016 which showed video of a man in a green jacket inside of his business. The family is desperately seeking justice and closure. A member of LULAC who is here to support the family says they have waited six long years for justice for Josue. They are very um, saddened and hopeful at the same time. Again, just moments ago, the defense in this case asking the judge to declare a mistrial, claiming they did not receive a piece of evidence, a key piece of evidence. The judge responded by saying that she wants everyone in their seats inside that courtroom at 845 tomorrow morning so that they can hash this all out. We, of course, will be there to let you know what happens. Reporting live tonight from downtown Houston, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.